How's it going, everybody? Thanks for hanging out with us. PDT continuing our legendary playthrough of Monst War, of War of Monsters. Monstrosities smacking each other with noob toodles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, zero death so far. This has been a flawless playthrough. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Zero God, deaths. I'm yeah, just so zero. good at this game. Best game ever. Ultra, oh. ult, was this guy? Ultra, Ultra v. v. Oh, just stop punching me. Let's see if you go against the scrubs. I mean, have you been uh, sharpening your skills? No. No. I have not touched this game since we uh, since we picked it up and set it down. You pick things up and put it down. Yeah, I totally did that thing. Get oh jeez, oh, 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 Rick. Mm. Yeah, Rick and Mortar does need to come out soon. It, it, it is coming out soon, I, I swear. I hope it does. I mean, it better. I swear. No, I, I'm telling you, it is right now. Like, it's out right now. As we speak. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, totally real. Well, One down. Tip. Lying. <laughs> First way to get dislikes. Uh, I, I totally read it in a book twice. Oh, uh, you read it in the book twice? Yes. It's one of one of my doodly catchphrases. Can't wait. Can't wait for it to be extra. Can't wait. I also can't wait because we're going to be doing our first... Uh... What do you think about that, son? Speedrun. Speedrun speed super special. Speed run. Super, super pose. <laughs> <clears throat> Got so many mad robot gains. What are you excited for our first one of? Oh, our uh, first uh, skit video we're gonna do. Oh, super training special Magee? Yeah, I mean, I mean, those who like Magic the Gathering will love this video, and those who don't like it will also like the video. Uh, Maybe not understand some jokes, but it'll still be funny. I'm excited to be a published author. Oh, oh. tell me about that, Jimmy. Tell me yes, about it. Yes, my my good friend here, my buddy and pal, the attack attack of the dig is going to uh, make me a beautiful little cover because I was just going to use one of the general. Amazon fills for a uh, short story cover and put it on Amazon um, Prime Books. Not Prime. Well, I don't know what it is. You can download it through Kindle. I know that much. But, like, essentially it's all formatted and self-published and it will be completely free. I would just like to get my short stories out and about because they are super spooky. So, um, I, I worked on this. It went through eight different revisions. It's okay, I think. But I think nothing I do is good tactics. I hold myself to a very high uh, ah, set very of standards. High so um, I, people have told me it is super spooky and it has kept them up at nights. But um, it doesn't keep me you up want, at you nights. You want to give them a little bit of a synopsis of the story? No. -ish? You don't want to give anything away? You don't, no. want, to give, you don't want to give them a little Literally, my, like, want, they watch this channel. They know for a fact I'm not good at speaking. I need at least, like, ten minutes to sit down, be alone with my thoughts, and then I get did super you, did, creeped out. Did you not make a... Uh, Teaser slash synopsis thing for it. Um, for my teaser it. slash synopsis is trash, and I'm probably gonna need to work on that. My teaser slash synopsis, as of right now, is oh, and a Lovecraftian horror story where college students go out into um, uh, the campsite and things go horribly awry or something like that. I don't know. Oh, well, there you go. Hey, would it be your dream come true if someone tried to make it into a B movie? Oh. I would have to do... See, the thing is, like, I've imagined it as a screenplay, and I was going to do a revision of it as a screenplay, um, but yeah, writing a screenplay is a, a pain in the butt, and I don't know, I've just, like, got a lot of ideas for how certain shots would be taken and, like, if, um, different symbolism if, and whatnot. If you could have any movie star right now play your main character, who would it be? Who do you think's the most? I don't know who I would have. I, I would I don't want it I would like want it to be like a low key sort of person like ooh if I could have you said um, they're high, college students high school students who's yeah. the main character main character is I don't remember his name you don't remember his name literally like I write the stories for the monsters and the main character is just like I don't know if you guys read Lovecraftian horror but he's gonna go crazy <laughs> like he it's just destined to happen. And the decline and the crazy hallucinations he sees. Oh. Do you know? What, do you know what I think of for a character? The, uh, the guy who played, uh, uh, oh, what's his name? He's in the new movie coming out, uh, City of a Thousand Planets or whatever. Uh, He's the dude who also played uh, the Green Goblin in the new Spider-Man movie. Not the newest one that just came out, but the uh, was it Amazing Spider-Man? You know what? It would Andrew be cool Garfield. to have Robert Downey Jr. play the detective. No, you would be cool. In mine. Do you, do you think? 
Uh, do you know who I would have play the detective? Who? The guy who plays Commissioner Gordon in the Christian Bale Batman movies. Uh, it needs to be like an older grizzly guy with like. He uh, is older grizzly. He's, he's he's like he has a he's the old. He has the mustache, gray hair. Okay, I mean, it's like Gordon. thirty, like thirty-five. Like I'm thinking, he's, thirty-five. He's an old, thirty-five's not older. Old. He's middle-aged. She's got thirty-five's a, not middle-aged either. He's got a daughter that's like eight. I need someone in that age range. Then he's not middle-aged. The daughter is very important. Because, Dude, he, because he, the best he, scene. His daughter's age. My favorite scene to 30s. write. Like, I have a lot of crazy thoughts, and I like knew that I could only like go ham with like one scene or one sort of like instance and that instance is horrifying and it will keep you up at night i put so much heart and soul into one that that one like oh oh it, it, it's mm. would you would you be up to making a uh, reading of it for the channel i could read, I, I could do a, to the folks. a vocalization i mean I, I can do many different voices and they can be very sexy if they need to be but there's not any sexy characters in this one just very that'd be a hard children. thing to, like we could possibly like do like a scene by scene like drawing of it just Ooh, an anime. I was thinking about that, like, as a Halloween special or something. That'd be pretty neat. It's super spooky scary. Yeah, I think I think we should do a reading of it for Halloween. Let's, let's, let's try to aim. Do a Halloween reading? That'd yeah, be there we go. Neat. That'd be pretty cool. You can also publish um, your... Uh, audiobooks. Audiobooks online. There you go. That's you can kill neat. two birds with one stone. Yep. One but I refuse to, like, it. make money for my art. However, if you guys want us to, want to donate money to me at any point, I will accept that. To, to but I don't like art. Art is can, like. Can people donate money to us? We... My controller is unplugged. Oh, hold on, folks. We'll be. No, I'll be okay. right back. Oh, oh. Uh, yes, people can donate if we make a Patreon or whatever. Or something. We'll probably have a Patreon set up somewhere. But literally, in the future. like no one has even offered to throw money at us. Yeah, so but we don't. Well, we don't want your money. We really don't want your money at all. We just want your viewership. Yep. And then if we get like an, a stupid amount of people that are viewers and everything like that to the point where we can do it full time and do grandiose, crazy things. Oh, that'd be great. Maybe. Because I've got ideas for. We got tons a of Four hundred thousand dollar budget yeah. film. <laughs> We, uh, 400,000... Yeah. We have a ton of a ideas for fun stuff we want to do besides, you know, just Let's Plays. Because we love doing these, but there's other things we'd like to do. Oh, and yeah. We already have planned and stuff. It's just getting to it. Yeah, there was like an entire spiel of how-to videos we were thinking about how doing. How-to videos. We want to do more... We have more challenge videos planned. It's yeah. just, you know, we both have full-time jobs for the most part, so... Yeah. We do, we, we do, we do this on the side. Fun. I got, a, I got a, like a pseudo-promotion, so... It's um, it's been a big change for me personally. I killed the man. You killed him. I killed. You're him. doing a lot better than you did. You're a damn liar. Times. I died twice already on this one. Yeah, but you got wrecked against the dragons. Yeah. That's... At least now you only got one dude to worry about. Yeah, but he's super spicy. Look at how fiery he is. It's Ma Is that magma? That's magni. The gains. Super These poor samurai people. Side. They're just like, why does this keep happening to us? It's like, please, Jesus Christ, let me live. Where do we run? Oh, I'm ready for my super special secret. Super special secret move? Yeah, I did it. Didn't you see? I did the. Oh, the hand grab? Yeah, the hand grab. I like it a lot. Just get over here. Ow, oh, jeez. <clears throat> Have they done any more spoilings? Speaking of the get over here, have they done any more spoilings for the uh, Injustice game? You mean for the next upcoming characters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not really. I mean, we haven't even got everyone from this DLC pack yet. Oh, yeah. Well, didn't Sub-Zero already come out? Yeah, but we need Starfire now. Oh, I haven't played with Sub-Zero yet. I want to. Sub-Zero's fun. Is he really? Yeah, I have, I've been having I need to download really. him. But, I don't know. Are you, huh, Club are they, Call. Are, have they already there. confirmed Raiden? Or are they just... Raiden? Yeah, Raiden. Raiden? What's Raiden from? Metal Gear Solid. Oh, yeah. That would be crazy as hell. He would kind of fit in, Aren't wouldn't they spelled he? like the same way? No. No. No, yeah, they could be. Maybe. Maybe. I thought Dark evil me! I thought it was just pronounced... Whoa. This is uh, about to be... Another me! This is about to be anime as fuck. Oh, Jesus This is so Christ. anime right now. On the next episode of Mobile Fighter Hentai Gundam, there's 15 different kinds of penetration, only three of which are legal! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dark, dark hentai Gundam, you will never penetrate me. My newly bits think otherwise. Just, oh, you monster. I think they just make anti to avoid work because they censor out everything anyway. It's just how they do it. Some are not censored. My girlfriend has woken my eyes to the horrors that are, like, things that Chinese people look up and do. 
Follow Chinese people on Instagram at very kind individuals. Follow Chinese people on Instagram. Yes. Is that like an actual thing? Just Chinese people as a whole? I don't know. I don't have an Instagram. Instagram. I don't have any type of social media. So um, if you look, try to look me up on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all those thingamajigs, I do not have one. He does not exist. I mean, he I major in media in informatics, and I do not have any of those medias. He is a ghost in the shell. I am. I just try to avoid that stuff. It's literally just a medium to where you can brag to people and make your life look amazing by capturing any good moment. Oh, I have many. Like, oh, this guy did this today. He must have an amazing life. I just share a lot of me. Like people are like, I want to know what you're doing. I'm like, well, you can always, you know, hang out with me. If you ever want to read my poems, because I also write poems, you can follow me on Fossbook. Fossbook. Yeah, I do post a lot of my pa poems. Why don't you make Facebook. a book of your poems? Um, that's a good question. Why don't you just have a book called Poems by Jimmy, and it's just a little stick figure? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, there was, like, some famous uh, poet, apparently, like, and she has, like, sentence-long poems that people just praise and jerk off. And it's like, sure, this is beautiful, but, like, I don't know how much work she literally puts into it. She's probably, it. like, she wakes up in the morning, you know, takes takes a shower at, like... Like, three, I mean, sure, they were like beautiful, but, like, it's, bed. it's, like, literally, like, I put so much effort into my poem. Well, granted, I don't, I don't like, publicize it and p plaster it all over the interwebs, <laughs> but, like, I just feel like mine better. I might be biased, because, you know, I write it. <laughs> so does she get paid? Does she get paid a lot of money? I'm not sure. I think she does it independently for the fun, like me. Well, I mean, I don't think she does. I mean, you said she does too, put too much work into it. If it's like one sentence, uh, long. I know. But like, like I could literally, very... wake, I could literally just wake up, take a sip of my a morning milk, and just be like, mm, "Purple is the color of my inner sadness," and then everyone's just purple is my favorite it. color, and it's a very happy color. It's a very happy. What what kind of purple special. do you have? An Easter purple? Um, I like Mewtwo purple. Mewtwo purple. I'm, I'm not, I swear to God, Easter colors are like the ugliest things. They're like desaturated. Oh, you mean, well, there's watercolor pastels. kind of colors? Yeah, pastels. That's exactly the word I was looking for. Back well, no, pastels can have dark color. I don't know. Mm, can they, though? Can they? Pastels though? are very... It's only me and Shadow Gundam now. I hate using pastels to color with, though. They're just so messy. I other did people, an other entire people series really, in pastel other people I was are really in high good. school. I'm mostly just pencil. I did uh, pastel la landscapes that turned the only out very time, nice. <laughs> the only time I'll ever color anything is if I have my digital art pad, which I use. Which I totally. I kind of want like a lot of people get a lot. People get a lot of reviews with just doing reviews of stuff like that because people want you know want that they're worth buying. Or are they worth buying? Yeah. Well, here's my review of the Wacom uh, in Intros tablet. It's very good. Thank you. Very good. Very good. This is my review of a pad of paper. It gets the job done. Very good. I mean, it's only, it's only like a, I don't know, seventy dollar tablet. Hey, yeah, you want. and it saves trees. Saves trees. Yeah, I love how you can just draw as much as you want, and then erasing and all that's perfect. It's just, it's just a lot. It's like magic paper. is what hmm. it is. I'm gonna get probed. Did you just get abducted? Yes, I did. Did we win? Not yet. But I'm getting probed. Oh, jeez. Well, I mean, I think this is a good ending point. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh yeah, you guys know what they say. Thank you.